under quanti quantitative variable it is continuous or discrete continuous means it's follow it means they have some unit of measurement so if it is a continuous variable it may be normally distributed or it may not and why we are bother about the normally distributed because uh, almost 80% 90% variables are follow this distribution so the common so you need to give the importance okay you you choose any example like blood pressure if you are collecting the blood pressure information okay so from the lower blood pressure very low blood pressure okay it's like uh, uh, 80 so 80 blood pressure very few people okay see this very few people as we go up 85 90 95 100 110 120 so around 120 maximum and then again we'll go high 30 35 40 the, the the frequency will decrease any other example you can choose any example hemoglobin level weight height anything will fall like this stuff okay at the lower side at the upper side the frequency is low at the normal side frequency is high so it's follow this bell-shaped curve and that's why we are thinking for this uh, normal distributed or not and if it is normally distributed and it's not normally distributed, again, depending on that, we will choose which taste and how to represent that. Okay, so both the estimation and hypothesis testing both depends on that. It's follow the normal distribution or not. Okay, so the question is, see, this thing here, you want to remember a, a, a few things, okay? Like, mean plus minus one standard deviation will capture 68 percent of the data the 68.6 percent here you need to remember because we don't have any means idea that how to mean you are not able to solve this area under the curve okay so it's better to remember that so one minus one mean plus minus one standard deviation will capture 68.6 percent data Two standard deviation will capture 95% of the data. Okay. And three standard deviation will capture around 99% of the data. So if they will ask some memory based question like, okay, mean plus minus one standard deviation will capture how much data? Okay. Then you need to remember this. Clear? So now if we are saying the normally, we normally obtain the all the data follow this shape, normal distribution. So if it is not normal, yes. You have some question? Okay. So if it is not follow the normal distribution, then what? Okay. So if it is not follow, the, so if I will say, aap isko do. is graph ko aap kharap kar do. So what you can do? Either you will push left, right, up, down, or both. This is the only possibility, na? So if you will, if you will distort it like left and right, this is called skewness. And one question possible: if they will not ask from the normal distribution, they may ask from the this skewness. Okay. So skewness means its left graph is skewed, left and right tailed. Okay, and the question may become like positive. What is positive skewed? What is negative skewed? So just remember, this is your the top is your mode. Okay, most frequent. So in positive skewed value, mode then mean then uh, then mean mode then median then mean. So mean is means mean value is highest then median value then mode value that is called positive skewed if they will if they will give you three values okay and ask it is positively skewed or negatively skewed so just see if the mean is more than me median is more than me mode that is called positive skewed if reverse then negative skewed okay and if you stretch up and down it's called kurtosis kurtosis is very rare okay you never bother for that.